How do you find the perfect girlfriend? Hey, Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com. How do you find the perfect girlfriend? Now you might be thinking this is ridiculous. How could I even potentially sum this up in such a short video? Well, there is a formula that you can follow to really find the perfect girlfriend. Now here's the deal. Of course, perfect or the unicorn girlfriend is all subjective. That means that everyone has their own definition and thoughts on what is going to be perfect for them. What's perfect for me is not perfect for somebody else. Everyone is interested in different things. Everyone has different values. We're all looking for something different. So with that idea, what you have to understand is you need to find the perfect girlfriend for you. So here's the formula. It's something that I call the three non-negotiables, AKA three deal breakers, three things that are super important to you that you must have when you are dating somebody. That's right. What is the most important things to you? Now, of course, you may not know. That's why you need to get a piece of paper or your phone, an iPad, whatever. You need to write down all the things that are important to you, like what you would want in a girlfriend. Now, here's the deal. This list is going to be ever changing. So you might narrow it down finally to three, but then after you date some women, you're gonna realize, ah, eh, one of those is not as important anymore, right? So that's okay, and that's totally fine. That's the reason, by the way, why you date, why you go out, why you meet a lot of women, so you can really find out what is important to you. If you're a guy who's like, I never even dated before, I'm still a virgin, I have no idea. That's okay. Come up with three, do your best, and then you do trial and error as you continue to meet women. Okay, let's go deeper into what these three things are going to be. I want you to narrow it down to three things that you would want in a girlfriend, okay? So these are going to be maybe something with her looks, maybe something with her personality, maybe all of the above. Now why three? Why not 10? Why not 20? Here's the realistic situation here, okay? It's that you are going to have an exponentially harder time finding someone that has all the traits. Now you're probably thinking, but Trip, I'm supposed to find the perfect girlfriend. Shouldn't they have all the traits that I want? The reality is, is you will never ever find that. It's near impossible. And here's the thing. Maybe in that crazy chance that you do find a girl who has all 20 of the traits that you're looking for and she looks exactly like the girl that you always thought you would be with, still, you never know if you guys are even gonna have that connection. So what I'm saying is, it becomes much harder as you get past three. So you need to come up with three. Here are some examples. Maybe it's something to do with your political stance. Maybe it's something to do with your religious stance. Maybe it's something to do with a specific hobby that you're really interested in. You really want your girlfriend to be interested in that too so you guys can do that together. Maybe you really want someone who's blonde. Maybe you really want someone who is physically fit. Maybe you want someone who is extremely nice. Maybe you want someone who's not as nice and is really just like, forward and challenging on the things that you want. Maybe you want someone who really wants kids. Maybe you want someone who is going to live in a specific city that you want to live in. Maybe you don't want kids. Do you see what I'm getting at with this? What are the three things that are most important to you? When you know those three things, you will be conscious of those three things. You will be looking for and asking questions to find out the girls that you're dating if they have those. Of course, also it might be something on the way she looks, which you'll know just by looking at her, but you're gonna have to dig in further to find those quality traits. So think about your values. What do you value the most? What's most important to you? And again, you might be like, well, I don't know if this is something I wanted a partner, but I think it is, don't worry. About it. Just write it down. This is what dating is for, to find out what these three are. Maybe you're a guy who's been in multiple relationships before, maybe you're divorced, and you're like, oh, trip, this is easy. I know the three, I know exactly what I'm looking for. Boom, you write those down. Now, of course, it goes without saying, there's some things that are not gonna be in those three. That's gonna be you know, your sexual connection. That's gonna be just the energy between you two. Do you guys get along? Do you enjoy each other's company? 
you know, just those normal things that are just, they have to be there, all right? So I wouldn't put for one of them like, oh, the sex is amazing. I was like, well, that's part of a relationship. You're not gonna put, uh, she has to be a girl. Well, obviously she has to be a girl, okay? That is if you're heterosexual. So again, some of those kind of common sense, obvious ones that have to be there, they don't have to be part of the list, right? Like if she is a complete crazy girl with mental illnesses and, and, and drug addictions, you know, I wouldn't put that in one of your, you know, list of like, oh, she shouldn't uh, be really crazy, right? No, it's like, that's obvious. That's kind of like the, uh, the bottom line of it all. But then I want you to pick those three that are really special to you. And then you search for them and sift through them as you continue to date. Here's a secret, man. Most people don't do this, okay? Most people, are not that conscious in going after and finding the perfect girl. You know, they just normally go for looks, like, oh, the girl's really pretty, and they get sucked into her beauty, and they never find out anything else about her until one day they realize, you know, she's a terrible person or it doesn't work out. Then you're wasting your time. So if you want that perfect girlfriend, you gotta be conscious, you gotta make this list, and find out as you continue to see other women. I want you to check out a podcast called How Not to Settle with Anyone. It's an episode I did and I interview someone, an expert in the field of dating and relationships, where we go deeper into this idea of how not to settle, how to find someone who's awesome for you. So if you're interested in that, which I'm sure you are because you're watching this video, go check that out. It's an episode down below. I put the link again in the description and I'll see you in the comments and on the next video. If you're having trouble meeting hot women in your town and getting them interested in you, then listen up. I have an undetectable way of getting girls instantly attracted to you even if you're ugly, broke, and live at home with your parents. This system has worked for thousands of guys and it can work for you too. I teach it in my program called Hooked, where you'll also learn two behaviors most men do that instantly destroys any attraction. My three-step friend zone escape plan to reset her feelings for you and get her liking you. 30 different pre-written texts to send a girl that make her want to meet up with you and how to have unshakable confidence so you can approach any beautiful woman in any place. If you want to learn this and how to get women hooked on you, then go to getterhooked.com. Again, that's getterhooked.com.